For a very long period, humans have speculated about what existence might be like on other worlds. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, the most advanced telescope in existence, this question can finally be addressed. While scrutinizing the nearest star system to us, Proxima Centauri, which is merely four light years away, scientists have observed some unusual anomalies from one of the planets in the system, Proxima b. These anomalies, referred to as artificial lights, have baffled the most brilliant minds in the scientific community. But what are they? Do these lights imply the presence of intelligent life on the planet? Join us as we delve into James Webb's startling discovery of city lights that alter everything. The only life that we currently recognize is on Earth. Since the dawn of civilization, people have questioned whether there is life elsewhere in the cosmos. To undertake such an interstellar search, American astronomers Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson initiated the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI project in 1984. The nonprofit's goal is to collect space-borne radio signals. Radio waves can travel further and are thus more likely to be detected by the 42 radio telescopes that constitute the unique Allen Telescope Array in the Californian Cascade Mountains because they are less dispersed or absorbed than other types of radiation. However, in the past 30 years, no verifiable alien signal has been found. Subsequently, the James Webb Space Telescope's successful launch assisted in the quest to explore a range of distances. Undiscovered planets orbiting distant stars, the largest telescope in the world, which is floating approximately a million miles from Earth and equipped with incredibly sensitive detectors, will be utilized. Twenty years ago, there were no known planets beyond those in our solar system. But since then, over 4,000 additional planets, also known as exoplanets, have been discovered orbiting other stars. According to NASA, the universe might contain trillions of exoplanets. The earliest indications of life beyond our solar system might be found in extraterrestrial plant life. The Galileo spacecraft turned its instruments back toward Earth while en route to Jupiter and found a clear sign of the presence of plants. The instrument detected the vegetation red edge, a blend of red and infrared lights reflected by plants. For example, a planet like Earth covered in a jungle should have a strong and easily detectable red edge. The JWST will measure the red edge of distant Earth-like planets in the habitable zone around stars. These could be significant indicators of life in the exoplanet atmosphere. When sunlight passes through a planet's star, the JWST might detect it as it enters its atmosphere. The light's missing wavelengths would then be detected through spectroscopy. Atoms and molecules in the atmosphere absorb specific wavelengths, creating a distinctive fingerprint that the JWST can recognize. This technique may be used to ascertain the composition of the atmosphere and whether life is feasible. It is likely that life could exist on Earth-sized planets with atmospheres similar to our own, with a predominance of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. By searching for elements that are not typically present, one may detect technological life. Chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, produced for refrigeration and cleaning products, would likely be noticeable to extraterrestrials observing Earth's atmosphere from afar. If the JWST detected CFCs in planetary atmospheres, that would be a clear sign of civilization. In fact, life on exoplanets might not even remotely resemble life on Earth. Sometimes even earthly life, like extremophile species, can appear alien. This is a group of organisms, primarily bacteria, that can endure in environments where other living things would perish. Some humans can withstand temperatures up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Some can endure cold as low as minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Some of them can survive in strong acids with pH levels below 3, while others can be found on Earth in places where we would not expect to find any life at all. However, since planets like Earth are more likely to support life than planets with extreme temperatures or acidic conditions, it might be a good idea to start with those first. Prime candidates could have temperatures that allow liquid water to exist on their surfaces and orbit a stable star. The classification for our Sun is a yellow G-type star. These stars are less common and usually have shorter lifespans. In our universe, the probability of studying planets orbiting around red dwarf stars which are more frequent and have lower luminosities and temperatures than the sun, is higher. 
There is more time for the formation of life and evolution to produce complex life forms because these stars have longer lifespans. Significantly, around 40 light years away from Earth, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system will be the focus of JWST's first mission. It revolves around a quiet red dwarf star with seven Earth-sized rocky planets. Three of the rocky planets in the so-called habitable zone might have liquid water on their surfaces. The TRAPPIST-1 star, despite having a much smaller and cooler mass than our Sun, emits light that is similar to that of Earth. Due to the close orbit of its planets, the best chance for humans to see city lights outside the solar system is Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star that is 4.25 light years from the Sun. Our nearest star, Proxima, is about 600 times fainter than the Sun, so a planet must be 20 times closer to it than Earth is to the Sun for it to support life based on liquid water. In August 2016, astronomers discovered a planet with 1.3 times the mass in this habitable region in a Goldilocks-like habitable zone where the light intensity is just right to melt water. Proxima b orbits Proxima Centauri. It's possible that Proxima b is an airless, lifeless planet, given that it orbits its red dwarf star, Proxima Centauri, at a distance of only 4.6 million miles. The planet Proxima b is in a close orbit that exposes it to strong solar winds that can entirely destroy its atmosphere. It also provides enough sunlight for temperatures and liquid water that are comparable to those on Earth. Because of its close proximity to the star, Proxima b is thought to be tidally locked, always showing the same side to the star, just as the moon does in relation to Earth. Proxima Centauri is about 18% the mass of the sun and burns far less brightly than one might expect for a planet so close to its star, just 5% of the Earth's sun distance, which might be anticipated to be a red-hot cinder. Liquid water could easily exist on Proxima b as long as the planet has an atmosphere to heat it, since the total energy reaching it from the sun is only 65% of what Earth receives. Nevertheless, the planet is not particularly welcoming to life. It is most likely tidally locked, meaning that it always faces the same direction toward the star and produces permanent day and night sides with significant temperature variations. The planet also receives 100 times as much high-energy radiation as Earth does due to its proximity to Proxima Centauri, including X-rays and ultraviolet light. Proxima b is also bombarded with high-energy particles during star flare-ups. Unless it has a protective magnetic field similar to Earth, however, there are certain realistic conditions that could make it a pleasant world. Models suggest that the atmosphere of tidally locked planets may be prone to a rapid collapse due to the freezing out of volatile gases on the night side. A planet's atmosphere can be replenished by volcanic activity, and for planets with strong magnetic fields, this atmosphere is less likely to escape. Because we don't know anything about Proxima b's volcanic activity or magnetic field strength, we can't even guess whether or not the planet has an atmosphere. But since an atmosphere presupposes the existence of CFCs, and the two combined presuppose the existence of life, we are eager to know if Proxima b has an advanced civilization. It might have solar panels covering the day side to generate electricity to light and warm the night side, which would otherwise be too cold and dark for comfortable habitation. The discovery of Proxima b has sparked a race to determine if it transits its star's face as seen from Earth. These transits would allow scientists to determine the planet's size and mass, which would then enable them to ascertain its density. Knowing that would confirm the planet's rocky composition and provide information on the materials used to create those rocks. During a transit, starlight might reveal the nature of the planet by passing through its atmosphere, but the likelihood that the orbit will be in the right alignment for scientists to observe a transit is only 1.5%. The star's tendency to flare also complicates matters. Astronomer David Kipping of Columbia University says the star is tricky, as a star's heat causes a rocky planet to absorb sunlight and re-emit it as infrared light. However, rocky planets produce a unique type of infrared radiation from stars like Proxima Centauri. Additionally, the James Webb Space Telescope was designed specifically to study infrared light. Proxima b's infrared heat signature is crucial to identifying the planet's atmosphere. Additionally, the infrared portion of the spectrum has a strong affinity for water. The JWST will be able to detect artificial illumination on Proxima b's night side even if it were as faint as what our civilization currently uses on the night side of Earth. Webb could detect artificial lighting as long as it was confined to a frequency band that is 1,000 times narrower than the starlight. 
Proxima B's dayside is heavily covered with solar panels due to its unique spectral edges' ability to reflect starlight. As Proxima B orbits its star, day and night are identical. Cool evening lows follow daytime highs. The temperature difference between day and night would be significant to determine how much heat is still being retained. Webb will monitor Proxima B's night side. Even though the planet is incredibly cold, Webb's infrared vision will help find artificial light. When light from the night side passes through the atmosphere, scientists will use the JWST to try to figure out its composition and look for artificial structures. If the James Webb Space Telescope detects city lights on Proxima B, it will change everything. We might find ourselves at the dawn of an era of extraterrestrial contact. The age-old question of whether intelligent extraterrestrial life exists may be answered as we begin our search for city lights on distant exoplanets. We may discover that intelligent extraterrestrials share our galaxy and are watching us.